The bear's trip to the city. The bear decided to make a trip to the city. He walked along the way, dressed in his finest coat and wore a splendid hat with lace trim all around. His boots were shining brightly, almost blinding to the eyes. Today I look very stylish, the bear mumbled to himself. With this outfit, I'm sure to leave a lasting impression on people when I enter the city. A crow perched on a tree branch overheard the bear's mumble and said, Well, excuse me, but my opinion is quite different from yours. Considering your physique and bearing, you shouldn't be dressed like this. I just returned from the city. Would you like me to tell you how the most stylish folks in town are dressing these days? Oh, please tell me quickly, the bear said. I've always thought it would be wonderful. If I could wear the latest fashion of the city's most stylish people. This year, the crow said, the trendiest folks in town no longer wear hats. They use a frying pan on their heads as hats. As for coats, the kind you're wearing is already out of fashion. Nowadays, it's popular to wrap yourself in a bedsheet as a coat. And as for boots, they're no longer in use either. Instead, people wear two big paper bags on their feet. Oh, no. What a disaster. The bear exclaimed. My outfit is completely outdated. Thank goodness you reminded me, or I would have been the laughingstock of the town. The bear quickly turned around and, once he was back home, he didn't hesitate to take off his coat, remove his hat, and kick off his boots. He then mimicked the stylish city folks' attire by placing a frying pan on his head, draping a bedsheet over himself, and putting two large paper bags on his feet. He looked at himself in the mirror and said, Ah, the stylish folks in the city really have a wild imagination. The bear entered the city and found himself on the main street. People pointed, whispered, and then burst into laughter. Today, that bear is surely insane. This made the bear so embarrassed that he wished he could vanish into thin air. He immediately turned and fled the city, running back home as fast as he could. On his way, he encountered the crow again. Crow, you told me all those things, and they were all lies, the bear said, fuming. I never said that everything I told you was true, but why did you believe me? The crow replied before taking off and flying away from the tree, cawing with laughter. The crow flew high in the sky, cawing and laughing loudly. The bear stared at the sky, feeling rather foolish.